Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here. Welcome back to my studio. Speaking of studio, this is another OBS studio tutorial. This is my ultimate microphone guide. And in this one, I'm gonna teach you how to sound as good as I sound with no editing, just straight up with your OBS recordings, how to add a microphone so that you can stream or record with vocals. And I'm gonna teach you all of the filters and settings and effects I use that come with OBS to make you sound as good as possible out the box. You ready? Let's get into the tutorial because there's some tips here I bet you didn't even know about. So just follow along with me by creating a new profile and a new scene collection and just start from scratch because your current profile and your current scenes collection may have some incorrect settings so we're gonna fix that. Profile new, scene collection new. Great. Once you're done there, go to file Go over to settings, and we actually need to change your core settings for OBS within the audio tab. So go right here to the audio tab, and we're gonna set what is the most compatible settings for OBS by choosing a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. That is the most compatible sample rate. I recommend starting there. Do stereo for your channels. And here's a key point. Disable every single device in OBS right here. Disable all of them. You don't want OBS to automatically add any of your devices. We're going to manually add your device today and that's going to make it so that you sound as good as possible and that you are in control of every device that is coming into OBS. Okay? Hit apply and then okay at the bottom and we'll go back to our main panel here. To add your microphone, you're going to go under the sources section, click the plus button down here and we are going to manually add it. Plus button, and you're going to add an audio input capture. Name it whatever your mic is called. I'm just gonna call mine mic. You call it whatever yours is called, and hit OK. You'll then have a list of devices that you can choose from. Mine is the Rodecaster Pro. Select it, hit OK. You should see your device pop up here within the audio mixer, and you should start to see levels here within the audio mixer. This will give you a good idea of how your volume levels are looking within this box and whether you need to make some significant adjustments out the gate to your volume and what have you. Where you want to be in terms of your volume from maximum effectiveness is at negative three dBs, which is right about here. Zero is here at the end of this bar, negative three, basically three notches from the end of this bar is where you want to be to maximize your audio so that you sound broadcasting standard. Here's how you do that. Click the cog right here next to your mic and then go to filters. There are a few key filters that you need to know about in OBS so that you can sound amazing every time. This works for most mics. This is going to make your mic sound better. You're going to click that plus button down there in the bottom left and the first filter you're going to add is going to be either noise gate or noise suppression. So what you're going to do is you're going to add noise gate if you are in a very, very loud environment where there's loud sounds happening constantly behind you, a noise gate will allow you to eliminate those sounds by adjusting your close threshold and your open threshold. Basically dropping this down or up depending on how loud the background noise is, it will eliminate background noise and only let your audio punch through when you are talking, okay? So that's what noise gate does. I don't recommend noise gate unless you are in a very loud environment. If you're in a somewhat noisy environment with some background noise, noise suppression is going to be the better filter for you. Noise suppression works for almost everyone. Add noise suppression, leave it at the default settings, and listen to the way it makes your audio sound, okay? The next filter you're going to want to add is going to be the compressor. The compressor is amazing. It will just make your audio sound more even and more smooth, leave it at the default settings and it will just make your audio sound better. You're listening to me on a default compressor right now in OBS. You hear how even my audio is? It doesn't roller coaster, it doesn't go up and down, it's just even, even Steven. That's what compressors do. They help fill it out and make it nice and tight in terms of your volume levels and your levels, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna do when you're taking a look at those bars, remember I told you to keep an eye on your bars down here? If you're not quite getting up to that negative three dB mark, that's okay. You don't wanna crank your volume up on your mic or on your mixer to get up there. Let's go ahead and digitally increase that gain using the software 
so we don't get lots of line noise and background noise. So what we're gonna do is click the plus button and we're gonna manually add gain. And what we're gonna do is take a look at how many dBs short we are from hitting negative three dBs down here. So when I talk, I see that I'm about three dBs short. So I'm gonna go increase my gain by three dBs by clicking the up button here or manually typing it in. Great. Now, as you can see, oop, see how I peaked right there? That was bad. I don't wanna peak. So I wanna drop my audio down. I peaked a little bit. Let's drop it down to maybe two dBs and see how I do. Make sure I don't peak. Check one, two, three. Check, 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 check. There we go. Now I have maximum loudness without peaking. Then the fourth filter you're going to want to add is called a limiter. And a limiter is going to keep you from peaking and having that crackling audio sound that destroys your listener's ears while they're listening to you. And you wanna put the threshold on that limiter at negative three dB. Here we go, negative three dB. All right, so let's review these filters and what they're doing for you. Noise suppression is eliminating all the background noise and things you don't want behind your audio. Compressor is making you sound nice and even and smooth. Gain is getting your volume level up to as loud as it should be without breaking the ears of your listeners. And limiter is preventing you from peaking and just having that crippling sound of your audio being way too loud. With these four filters on, you can make almost every mic sound significantly better using the default settings or the settings I told you to use today within OBS. It is that simple, my friends. That is precisely how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. It's really that simple, guys. Do that, do a recording, listen to yourself, go back, adjust the settings, listen to yourself, and repeat this process about three to five times until you're very satisfied with the sound you get in OBS, and you'll be blown away. When you turn those filters off and you listen to it versus turning those filters on, it's like night and day. Hope you enjoyed. Give this video a like if you, if you really got some value out of it, and share it with a friend who sounds like crap in their audio recordings. I'm here to help you out with as many tutorials about OBS as I can possibly produce. See you in the next one, amigos, and happy streaming and recording.